Welcome back to Nick Lang's Comic Corner, classic, classic, known classics. This is episode number 26, 7, uh, 35, the episode number 26, 29. I have two trades here in related to Batman. <clears throat> First one's an obvious Batman trade, the other one basically I'll give in a bit what how it's related to Batman. First up is a trade that I was kind of surprised that it was a volume two of this one given the fact that basically that uh i knew i remember this series really well kind of uh the problem is i think a lot of people may have forgotten the series came out especially since this series only lasted 18 issues it was a series that i never hear anybody talk about this one it's not bad of a series per se just that like in the case of uh this various run for black panther no one talked about it at all. Um, I do not know the reason for it, per se, but here we go. We have I Am Batman, Welcome to New York. This is the Jace Fox Batman, a character who readers do not give a damn about this character at all. He's not a terrible character. It's just that DC is trying to force people to basically care about this character. And everybody else is like, Hmm, I'll take this, take this. I have no interest in you. I have no interest in this book, so I'll take this. Yeah, it's like this book was kind of ignored. I think when this trade came out, presumably, I didn't know this book was going to come out anyways because I own volume one. <clears throat> and as for this book, per se, uh, my local Barnes and Noble never carried volume two or volume three. Nope. They had volume one, they never picked up volumes two and three. I think because. No one knew these trades are coming out. It just, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, this book contains issues 6 through 10 of the I Am Batman series. Yep, the John Ridley character, who is the son of Luke Fox, it's like, this character is a forced character. How do I mean by that? He is a character that DC is forcing people to care, like I mentioned, forced people to care about. And also this book, he does not have his little cover thing, so... Oh yeah, and by the way, people know this is not the real Batman. He claims he's Batman. But people know he's not Batman. We have Christian Deuce. And Ken Lashley and Steven Savoy in the artwork. The cover is by Oliver Capricelli and Alex Sinclair. Uh, the artwork is good for this book. That's not the issue. It just that Chase Fox is not that interesting. So we open up... Okay, I can maybe see the reason I... I see this, see him like... Wow. Very, what a very disgusting opening for a book. So we have a guy getting skinned, or he's saved by the Jace Fox Batman. Yeah, and of course, his opera in New York. I gotta admit, the artwork of this book is really good. I love the artwork, so... This is a place basically like, okay, why can't go to LA? They have to go to New York. Now, I should point out though, in terms of DC Comics, he is not the first Batman character to basically be a vigilante in New York City. The first be, the previous one be Nightwing. But would this continuity acknowledge that? No. Jace Fox is like doing his best. Now, I have nothing against Jace Fox. He's like, he's trying to. And apparently the police have no problem with him at all, which is kind of odd. I would think, basically, that New York would be different than Gotham. But apparently it seems like you read this book, it's like... Kind of, basically, it's like maybe John Ridley just wanted to have the character based in Gotham, have these characters be the characters, the classic Batman characters we know of. But my guess is because readers probably were not giving a damn about Jace Fox, so... Move him to New York City, where the police force has no problem with Batman, just like it had no problem with him in Gotham City. So, mostly probably investigating this serial, this serial killer who skinned people. Yes. And aside from Batman himself, there's not, it's like, it's like random police officers, uh... Now, my biggest problem with this book is 
I mean, I like the Batmobile. I like the Bat Cycle they have here for this one. It's really cool. The problem is, aside from Jace Fox, there is no memorable characters. It just seems like Jace Fox interacting with random people who just do stuff. And, like, some of whom I don't think they identify by name. Yeah, so. The police commissioner gets kidnapped by this Skinner. Who, he gets killed. Yeah. Like I said, like the artwork, I like Jace Fox as a character. It's just that... The problem is with this book is it just feels as though I have no connection to this book at all. It's like Jace Fox interacted with people were supposed to give a care about and nobody cares. I get the arc basically at nine. The book itself, I'm going to be fair to John Ridley. I'm like, at least, here's the thing Black Panther is a memorable character. I know who the characters are in his book. This book, like, Aside from Jace Fox and his one of his sisters here, like, can you name any character in this book? Not really. It's a bunch of forgettable characters. Like, I can't, like, aside from, like, yeah, he's in New York City. It's just that, wow, it's. It's like John Ridley is trying so hard to have Jace Fox replace Batman so badly. But with much better book, we have The Hobbit. This is the graphic novel adaptation of the book. Written by Charles Dixon, a.k.a. Chuck Dixon. Yes, the famed Batman writer wrote this. Excuse me. Now, I'm not getting too much detail with this book per se, but uh, I do love the artwork in here. By... Uh, Sean Deeming. It's a great way to introduce people to uh, the world of The Hobbit. Like, it is so good. I mean, if you want a good thorough review of this book, which apparently was released originally as a three-issue miniseries, check out Linkara's review of this thing, which, of course, he did it because The Hobbit movie was released in December, and, of course, Lord of the Rings were. Um, great book. I get this book a 10 out of 10 because it was really good. I think that he did a great job with all the characters. Um, I do get some of the opinions of this book is that kind of the singing, some complaining, but I think Chuck Dixon did a good job. You know, I know this is Chuck Dixon because he mentioned this podcast. Yep, so yes, that's particularly it, particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe to notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Well, I'm going to comment corner left to go, and happy pretty much it for tonight. Okay, next view. Bye.